and we're looking at the differences in their behaviour in a way that's practical and effective. I'm Dr Meredith Shield. I originally trained as a paediatrician and worked for many years as a paediatrician. In the latter part of my career, I moved more into medical research. And in that capacity, I, I spent a, a lot of time investigating the outcome of children having open heart surgery. So fairly intensive medicine and, and intensive research. I'm also a wool grower. My husband and I have a sheep property in the central tablelands of New South Wales where we raise around 2,000 superfine merino sheep. Not long after Matt and I uh, bought the sheep property, I became aware that lambs undergo surgical procedures as a routine, it, it, which is often done to protect their health, such as the mules operation and tail docking, uh, and other procedures such as castration, which are required for management reasons. And I guess what astounded me, coming from my paediatric background, was that, that these procedures were done without any form of pain relief. And, Perhaps even more astounding was that there just didn't seem to be any products or medications available that were practical and safe and effective to use for sheep. Although we have very effective uh, analgesics and pain relief treatments uh, for human surgery and companion animals, uh, much of the way that we deliver those medications and treatments is just completely impractical for use on farm. What was required was you know, a lot of lateral thinking to think about how we could take the medications that we know are effective and transform them or develop products that would be safe and effective and affordable for farmers to use for the sort of procedures that sheep, for example, undergo. We've been really encouraged with the results from the, tri from the trials that we did with the topical anaesthetic agent, which, we've now, um, which is now called Trisulfan. It's a combination product, so it not, not only has local anaesthetics in it, uh, but also adrenaline, which is to stop bleeding, and an antiseptic, which is to prevent infection. So the combination works on a wound, any open wound, to immediately numb it, um, alleviate the pain, and also treat the wound itself. When we started um, to try and develop pain relief for the Millsing procedure, uh, there was a lot of scepticism, I think. Uh, I, I often got comments, oh, you know, no one will use it or it won't work or um, it won't be good enough. I've just been astounded by the way, you know, we have been able to come up with a product, it does work, and I've been astounded by the way farmers have just instantly taken to it. I think as soon as they see the difference in their sheep, um, um, it's something that, that just becomes second nature to what they do, is to use pain relief. We began the research work in 2004 uh, and it took probably a year, a year and a half to, to get it to a product that we were ready to commercialise. Um, so it, really that was pretty quick, all things considered. And um, in terms of take up, what, what we saw was a sort of doubling of the use almost every year. So it's got to the stage now where between five and six million lambs are being treated per year with the product, which is you know, a fantastic take up rate. We were so encouraged by the effectiveness of the topical anaesthetic preparation for the mulesing wound. So we're now looking at how effective products like trisulfan can be for other farm animal procedures, um, particularly castration, tail docking, dehorning, branding, uh, all those sort of procedures that are currently carried out in animals around the globe, mostly without any, any um, pain relief at all. Globally, the issue of dealing with farm animal pain is growing enormously. It's becoming a, a, a big issue in EU, particularly in the pig industry, um, and North America in the cattle industry. I think people are just uh, more and more becoming aware or, or um, reaching the stage where it's just becoming unacceptable to undertake surgical procedures on animals without 
without effective pain relief of some form or another. So the big challenge to us is to come up with products that actually can be used to achieve, to achieve the sort of pain relief and wound healing that we would like to see. I always knew it was going to be difficult to deliver some sort of all-in-one magic bullet solution where you, you know, you give them the, the animals just one medication and that relieves everything. Um, so what we've done is we've broken it up and the um, topical anaesthetic designed to be sprayed onto the wound immediately when it's created and it numbs the wound and then deals with the post-operative pain which is, you know, the bulk of the pain that is created by the procedure. Um, now we're coming back to look at whether we can also develop a preoperative medication that deals with that la the, the pa pain of the procedure itself, which is that kind of last 10%. It's been incredibly rewarding to, just on a personal level, with my own sheep, uh, to look at the difference in the lambs um, treated with the pain relief versus not treated with the pain relief. You know, uh, I think the difference, you can see the difference just in the way the lambs respond to the surgery and the way they recover. And to know that that is actually going on across the country on such an enormous scale, um, it, yeah, it's incredibly rewarding and it inspires me to keep going.